Alright, so we had a bit of an issue with recordings, but um, after they left the Mew, there was a little bit of talk about uh, fighting in the arena, which is now currently happening. Um, sadly, the recording did not get made for that, so here we go setting off. Um, so far, Kyrodon has been hit by two of the Giant's three attacks. Gi the Giant is Wally, the current champion of the arena. Uh, Wally has been hit for, I believe it's been 27 damage so far. And so we set back off. Technically it would be his magic. I can okay, also use sorry about that, I'm back. Because it has no components. <laughs> nah. Alright, so I got that 13, 18 damage on him. Alright. Did you hear my cheer, Klaus? No, I did not. The ground was sand, but now it's grass. Kick that big guy in the ass. Got my pizza. <laughs> that was a perfect right. time to say that. Got my pizza. And then uh, I guess I will action surge and use my second wind. Fuck, what does second wind get me at a D10 plus 6? Yep. 1D10 plus 6. 16. Wow, that's actually max healing. That's nice. Say, uh, Holden. Not Holden. Caradon, how much total HP do you have? 59. Okay. Quick bet. <laughs> Probably gonna turn the others like, place your bets. How long do you think he's gonna last? I got five gold says he's buying it the next round. Possibly. I was going to say two. Well, you have two more attacks for your action search, don't you? Yep. So, you never know. <laughs> I'm gonna attack again for two more times. Uh, All right. So, yes, with your first attack, you leaped forward I'm with your glaive point. cutting into him. Then you leaped back and charged forward again. Uh, your third attack uh, hits, and your fourth attack misses. I'm actually the inspiration on that uh, second one, and I get to reroll. Fuck. Uh, well, I guess I just do six damage for that sec first attack, and then um. You said it was a D8? Yep. 1D8, uh, 3. That just hits. And then I get to roll damage for that. 13. He is going to use his... Stone's Endurance... To reduce that by... You heal by another 3. By the way. Yeah, I, I added it. Thank he reduces you. the 13 t damage to 10 damage. Okay. Uh, and uh, will I be able to put uh, put the glaive away and take out the um the shield? Uh, I'm gonna say you're gonna have to use a bonus action to do that, and you do get another bonus action part as a part of your action shoes. Yep, but I used it, so that's. No, okay, so let me clarify something. You used one bonus action so far. You have another one. I used a bonus action to dash. You have two. Oh, you did I use a bonus action to dash? One. Yeah, okay. I this is retreat. All right. He used it twice? Well, he used, I... it, he used his um, second wind, which was his other one. Okay. And then All I'm right. going to move 20 feet over here. Can I inspire him again? Uh, I'm just going to keep the inspiration the entire time, just because he'll keep inspiring me, alright? Yeah, alright, so you inspire him again. Um, effectively, unless he says otherwise, let's just say that you have one inspiration each turn. Okay, cool. <laughs> just so that I'll, way you I'll don't got to keep saying it. Chair. Yeah, I'm the, the, the... Alright. So, <laughs> the now pretty heavily injured um, giant moves forward and takes his great axe and goes to make three... Well, he goes to make his first slash, which is a 11 to hit. His second slash nope. is an 18 to hit. And yep. his third slash is a 15 to hit. Yep, just barely. Well, you have a shield. I a shield. I, he said I couldn't take it out yet. Cause yeah, I you gotta it. use a bonus action to switch your glaive into the Mercurial Wad. So what's the so damage? The damage of the first attack is 22. And the damage of the second attack is 27. Oh. 
Yep, that's enough to get me. Alright, so... As he brings down the first, uh... Wait, can I use inspiration to... for dodging an attack? Nope. nope. Oh, well, that got me. So... As he brings down the first attack, you manage to dodge just out of the way. However, he adjusts his, how his grip is and swings it back, cutting deeply into you. You think that you got this for a moment, and then he swings again. Your body falls limp and goes flying to the other side of the arena. Uh, you hit a rock, that. and mm. you're knocked out. Medic! If I had gotten that shield out, I had, I feel like I would have won that, because there are two hits that he wouldn't have gotten on me. Uh, the uh, cat person rushes over with a medical kit and patches him up, so that way he is stabilized. Mm. Alright, good job, Wally. Although he's a surgeon. I uh, think Karadon did a lot better than I expected he did. Yes, um... You right. actually <laughs> got Wally pretty low. Which uh, I was I not was expecting. Was <laughs> like, within how much was he? Like, under 30? He is a level 13 character. With 97 maximum health, he was at 39. Oh, yeah, I could've totally beat him if I just used the, the thing that Aussie gave me. I didn't expect him to have three attacks. Here I could guys. totally take when, him, you guys. When will we be ready for the next round? Oh, uh, probably here in a few hours, unless I don't messed up heal a little bit. Unless you guys have any kind of magical healing. I know that you said that you were planning on boarding the ship. I do have a question, though. Yes. Could I fight Wally? Oh. Hi. Could I fight you as you are, but like not make it official? Just to see. You know. Because I'm weak. <laughs> he looks over to the. Um. Cat folk. Um. Well. You see, it's not quite that. That's not quite how we, we do things. Both we fighters can do a have to. Ring. Well, we can, like, draw a ring in the grass. Fine. We, it's fine. We don't have to do it in this ring. It, I don't want it to be official. I don't want to be a champion of anything. It, it's just how things are done around here. I'm sure you can understand that. It's more of a don't want to get in trouble with the other arenas in the area. Well, we wouldn't be doing it in an arena. No, no. I, I, I think everybody's trying to say us yet. Yeah. I guess there's a bunch well, of bureaucracy nonsense that I don't want to get involved in. Well, as it so happens... I detest that, and I urge you to allow me to do it. I would like to persuade him. Well, a persuasion check. <laughs> and I pull out my guild letter from what's his face, the g guy that's dead now. <laughs> guild like, four. I have the authority, the right. Twenty-four. <laughs> Didn't we need a champion for something? He yes. So uh, you should never ask him to persuade because he's always going to win. In a champion? What do we need a champion for? Well, I don't remember. I don't want it to be official. It doesn't have to be official. I'm not going to kill him. I just want to see. I'm curious. Do you have any kind of magical healing? Um, I have to... a wee bit. I would... Think so, moment. Right. Well, I won't hurt him. You're not going to hurt him? No, of course not. Dear Lord, no, I'm not violent. I'm... interested. Indeed. Okay. Go I'm at it, then. Healing. I've got some magical healing uh, drugs. Would you like to give these to him? <laughs> Hello, Caesar's Fuck this pizza up bad. So, uh, right. Edward says of this pizza. Okay, Melvin. No, sorry, Welvis. No, what's your name again? Wally. Wally. Yeah. Wally. Hello, Wally. Oh. I'm not gonna hurt you. <laughs> You're not gonna hurt me, right? <laughs> he shakes his head no. 
High five. Oh, wait, oh. I step in the ring, right? Are we doing this in the ring? Uh, yes. Okay. Ready, Wally? He nods and roll initiative. Oh, I just wanted to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. I could have cast a shield on that to not get killed. Yep. Can I inspire myself to try to get better on the <laughs> Yes, because that does is one of your things that. Wait, no, you don't have the thing yet that yeah, lets I you inspire yourself. <laughs> yeah, so no. Okay. So bye, we'll RC. We'll be over <laughs> here. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And he is going to attempt to whack the shit out of you with his. Um, we can't go hurting, do you? First one is an 11 to hit, second one is a 14 Misses. to hit, and the... Misses. What is your 8 to hit? 14. Okay. So, four, uh, the second attack hits, and the third attack is a 26 oh. to hit. No, I, I teleport away. Okay, so... I'm going to use my de defensive step. Alright. Um. So you still take the damage from that, I believe, so... No, because it increases my AC by 4. But I think he still take the third attack. No, because I teleport away. Alright, so as he swings, it passes through your misty form <laughs> as you reappear out the other side. He looks very confused. Hello, dear. Right, so... Remember, I'm not going to hurt you, so just let this happen. And I point at him and I say, Please leave the ring! And I suggest him to leave the ring. Um, let me find his save. Oh my god. <laughs> you done, like, feel and I will or... use my Discordia to muddle his mind to make it a DC 17. Well, he has a plus one to it and he rolled an 18. Oh, nice. So it is a 19 total. Okay. Um. <clears throat> bonus action. I'm going to cast. A spell! Summon chair is a bonus action, isn't it? It is! I cast chair in the sky and I float. Oh wait, I can fly! Wait a minute, I can fly! It's daytime. I fly 30 feet in the air. Uh... I'm pretty sure he can reach you there. You're just lo he's looking at you in the eyes as he beats the shit out of you. Technically, that's leaving the ring, so... Is it though? Well, not really. I don't think it matters because he's 20 feet tall. I'm sure he can reach you. He I is... fly 30 feet up. You... Okay, you are... Are you 30 feet up or not? Cape of the bat. Yes, I'm... Yes. Yes. Okay. So, you... See him reaching up, attempting to grapple you. I need you to make me an athletics check. Okay. Athletics. 15... He got a 19. He grabs onto your legs and pulls you closer to eye level with him. And with his other hand, he's going to take his great axe. Why not just put him down outside the uh, ring? You, we said no hurting, Wellis. Wilbur? In the first Come attack... Come on, the hard bar! Just throw him out of the ring! Is a 25 to hit? I teleport away. <laughs> So that does still hit. Oh right, I don't teleport. Wait, this is his only action, because he used his thing to- his, this is his only hit attack, right? No, he uh, has three attacks, and he used his first one to grab you. Isn't an attack to grab someone? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I severely so. underestimated this fight. Okay, I teleport away. <laughs> Alright, so that first attack did 23 damage. God damn! Okay. <laughs> So you teleport and collapse and die. No, I'm alive. <laughs> Alright. How many more times can you teleport? That was it. <laughs> okay. Mistakes are bullshit. Right. Well, miss. Leave the ring! Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Yes, leave the ring. Suggestion. <laughs> 
DC 17. Okay. How many uh, Baldic Inspirations did you have after Kaodons? Three. So this is my la I have one more, one left. Okay. Basically he got an 11. <laughs> so, Leo! as you say this, his full, his face goes a little blank, and he very confused, confused, walks out of the ring. <laughs> I can't think this is unofficial, because someone would definitely get your kick your ass in. I read. I read. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to fight him again. Alright, so effectively, there is time for you guys to rest and start a new fight right as the ship is arriving, if you'd like to do that. <laughs> like a short rest or a long rest? It would be a short rest. Effectively, I'm going to say that you can expend all of your hit dice and just effectively be at max health. I would like to see if the general goods store guy has fey mushrooms. Alright, mm. um... Yeah, we got some time. of that. Um, How much? How much are you looking for? Maybe ten hits. Alright. Um, so that ends up being ten gold. You gave him ten gold. It gives you ten tiny little mushrooms. Why is it cheap as fuck? This is right next to where the drag capital of the continent is. But wasn't it like hundred gold before? No, it was a lot less than that. Trust me, I didn't have that much money when I was back at the City of Cloth whatever. I couldn't find it in the city of Clonk because everybody was using it. Um, I need you to make me an arcana check on them. Me? Yeah. Uh, can I help in any way? Uh, Raikou, would you have invited Edward to come along with you? Sure. He has nothing else to do. Oh yeah, so I'll uh, give That'd you a little shot. Is advantage or just normal? Oh, uh, with advantage, because you got a 10. 25. Alright, so it appears that these fey mushrooms have been used in some kind of magical ritual as a material component. Um, some of the magic has been drained, but it shouldn't take away any of the mind-affecting effects. You get the sense that, while magically they are drained, that is part of the reason why it is a little bit cheaper than it was in the City of Cloth. You don't know. Well, I'll tell you this, Riker, you're getting what you paid for. That's good. I don't need anything else. Um, so everyone, um, I think Riker t can take this guy. Do you want me to do it? Well, actually, I, I think I could potentially do it, but, uh, I would have to use my polymorph spell, and I only get one of those a day. <laughs> polymorph and a Tyrannosaur or something? Can I telepathically go like, we could always cheat, or no? I'm not against Wait. it. No, we must uh, be honest in this. Yeah. Caradon's lawful good, so he wouldn't do that. Okay, but, so I think, I think Riker can take him as it is. So, yeah. just, if you want, if you want me to go, I can't do it, I think that'd be fun, but... If okay, we, maybe we should put this to a vote, since I think this is the last time we'll be able to do this before we leave. It is. Now, if I were to go in, I could polymorph to a giant ape and attempt to push him out. And if you get pummeled until you're back into normal form, then what? I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna run out of the ring, run out of the ring with a... Who am I kidding? If he knocks me out, I'm probably just one hit's gonna take me out. Yeah. I mean, he'll definitely get a hit on you when you run. So, just know that. After the fight I saw with Caradon, I'm legit sure I can take in myself without any yeah. trouble. I'd rather save my spell slots up. All right, Rick, you can go in if you want to. It's up to you guys. Did my mage armor go off when I got knocked out, or do I still have it? Mage armor just is not concentration, so you still have it. Did Wally shake my hand? Oh. Uh, Wally shakes your hand, it is much like shaking the hand of a toddler with the size difference. I love it. Well I'm done, Wally. I'm pretty sure if I had my another spell slot, I could, I could take him, but I'm not so confident without that shield spell, so... If you think you can do it, I can go, you can go ahead and try. 
Okay. So I guess we reset and wait for a few hours or whatever, and then okay. it's about okay. to come. So it is about noon now. Um, you familiar you sees it up on the horizon. Here in about ten minutes, it will arrive. Uh, you guys are rested up and prepared to go. Um, do you pay the fifteen gold to have this be an official fight? Mm-hmm. All right. So he takes the gold and um. You can move into position on any side. Here or not. Uh, I want to go over to Edward and uh, tell him, by the way, uh, Edward, the reason why I asked you to help me with the mirror is because I found you first. I was looking for a Riker. Right. Right, trust me, next time put in the extra time and find someone stronger than me. <laughs> Alright. Um, the... Officiator looks at the two of you. All right, Molly, are you ready? Yeah. And Riker, are you ready? Yes. I have my inspiration back if you want that. Yes, please. R E K E R. <laughs> That's wrong. They were both. Your little sees an issue. We just what? slept in a bar. Inspired. <laughs> so, um, how many inspirations do you have? Six. What's your... is it D8? Yes. And heals what? The amount you roll. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, so I guess I go first. You regain inspiration after a long rest, not a short rest. No, because I have font of inspiration. Ha. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, so my turn, right? Yes. I cast darkness right here. 15 foot circle. I'm going to make a copy of him to do this. <laughs> a life vest. Better to have it not need than need it not have it. There you go. Oh. There's some, everyone Bonus put down that. Bonus action, I cast uh, my shadow blade. Um, and I am using, I didn't, um, every level I can swap out an invocation, or can I swap out all of them? Klaus, I didn't get to ask you. Um, every level you can swap out one. Okay. Right. Okay, so I, uh, um, yeah, I stand, I stand there still, I don't move. Alright. Um. You hear a. Very confused. Bum. Bum. Where are you, little man? What would it take for Puff to smell him? Because he has advantage on scenting perception? Um, it is just. Um. It's gonna be somewhat difficult. A DC 15, but not too difficult. Which was a. Which is what I was about to roll for him to you try to figure is out. Is that an action or is that a? It's a bonus action. So my bonus action, I can use Puff to figure out where he is. Yeah. And okay. he has a plus one. And you hear very loud. Actually, so I said DC fifteen. This is a fucking giant. It is a DC ten. So. Yeah, and I'm a I'm a pretty clean person, so he is going to attempt to attack you, but he has disadvantage as he is within darkness. He does appear to seem to know somewhat where you are, but is almost wildly swinging in that general area. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the first one is a twelve to hit. 
The Next. second one is a 19 to hit. I shield one of my sorcerer spells. Alright, and then that also means that the 18 does not hit. Yep. Alright, back to you. Mm. So, those of you that are spectating just sees this axe swinging out of the darkness. Wow. I, um... um <laughs> I step right there. Oh, those were all disadvantage, right? Yeah. Wow. Can I make Puff fly on my turn? Or does it take an action or anything? Or is that just movement? Or how does that work? Uh, let me find the Find Familiar stuff. In combat, it has its own initiative and acts on its own tone, so it effectively has its own actions. Oh, it does have its own actions? I yeah. Thought, I thought I had to use my action to, like, attack and stuff. No, that was for the Beast Tamer. For this, I'm just gonna say... There you go. Okay, yeah, then I'm gonna make uh, Puff fly over to the back side of the guy and swing... Uh, to sting. Every turn, pretty much. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You are not quite... He finds him, but he's not quite able to find an opening in the armor. Uh, yeah. DC 11 con save, but it has to be hidden first, so... Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna actually have Puff fly, like, here. Um... Instead, and that's where he attacked him at. And basically, I'm trying to use Puff to distract him even more, so like he's just getting like whacked on the armor and like stabbed from other angles. So like he's constantly like not knowing exactly where I am unless he can really, really well, you know, find me. Um, I am going to use my last Warlock spell slot to summon armor of, Ag of Agathis. Agathis. It's Agathis. So I've got uh, 15 extra temporary HP, as well as 15 hit points that he gets hit for cold damage if I get hit by him. Alright. Uh, shield, does that wear off this turn? So yeah, start of the next turn. Okay, yep. that's me. Okay. Alright. Um, and you do have... Well, that was your action. Do you want to do anything with your bonus? bonus. Didn't catch what you said. Uh, give me a second. I'm just looking here. Oh, armor of Agathis is bonus. Damn. It. Okay. Or uh, action. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And then I just I I step to the side into the darkness and I wait. All right. He is going to attempt to figure out where you are. He again has a good general idea and is going to swing wildly in your vague direction. He does still have disadvantage, but he has the chance to hit. That is a 18 to hit on the first one. Shield. Alright. That bounces off. Second one is a 10 to hit. Yeah, that was a bad roll. And the. Third one is a 22 to hit. Your AC with shield is... Is it a 22 or 23? 23. Alright, so yes, all three attacks. Um, the first one begins to move towards you. You can feel the wind coming off of it, and you quickly throw up a magical barrier. Um, using that, um, you glance his attack off. The foot. next one swings right over your head, and the third one hits your barrier again. And it is your turn. I'll use my um, inspiration. Um, I'm gonna say no. Would um, Rossi have to use inspiration on him? Yes. Okay. I can though. I mean, yeah, but I didn't ask you to do that beforehand, so whatever, it's fine. Um, I swing. I swapped out one of my warlock spells with booming blade. Um, so I'm gonna swing at him with booming blade. And if I'm correct. Booming Blade is swing as a normal. Uh, 
Yeah. Um, yeah. I have advantage because we're in darkness. I did. 214, great. Um, huh. Does the blue, looming blade effect take, take uh, effect even if he doesn't hit, or do I have to hit? On a hit. Okay, yeah, it's on a hit. Okay, never mind. So, um, that's my action. I'm gonna have Puff try to swing, obviously. Alright. What? But also, yeah. so you, Shadow Blade glances off his own, and Puff again is not able to find a good purchase. Um, I want to point out this entire fight so far has been people swinging and missing. I know, right? Just wait until we, I hit or he hits me. I know. So his first attack with disadvantage is an 18. I'm gonna let him hit me. So the next the attack with... hits me. Oh, are you gonna hit first or should? Uh, I'm gonna roll to hit on all three of them first. Okay. Yeah. So the second one to hit was an 11, and the third one to hit is a nine. <sighs> okay. So he hits me. He takes 15 cold damage immediately. All right. I use my hellish rebuke for the day. As my reaction. Okay. Uh, and it's not rolling. And it's a dexterity save for him, isn't it? Uh, yeah, dexterity save throw. For half damage? For 10 damage. Or half, yeah. yeah. He got a 20 total. Oh, I'm rolling really good. Um, He got 18 and it's a plus 2. So he takes okay. 5 points of fire damage. And he is actually games. going to... Oh, he doesn't have his stones and dunes. Oh no, it's per short or long rest. So he does have that back. So he's going to use his stones and dunes against the um, Agathas. Agathas. However the what fuck you pronounce do? it. What does that do? Uh, stones and dunes reduces damage by 1d12 plus his constitution modifier, but I will shit so it's 5. Wow. Holy fuck. It's one supposed to a long rest, so. That's still really good. He just basically nullified all the damage. Ten of the damage. I mean, not ten, five of the damage. Still got ten. Yeah. Who wants to know a fun fact? Yeah, I love fun facts. The most damage that uh, Riker has done in any turn is when he magic missile the hexed creature. Huh? I don't have magic missile. You did once. I did? You I used it. Okay, maybe. I, I don't know. Probably swapped it out for something. 23 to hit. Alright, yes, that does hit. Actually, hold on, I need you to make me a, a constitution save for the concentration of darkness. Oh, yeah. And yes. I get advantage on those, I think, right? Are you a wool caster? I am. Okay, yes, you do have advantage. It is a DC uh, of 10. Actually, I did not even roll the damage for his attack. You did? Uh, oh, no. Yeah, you did it. No, no, because <laughs> we got caught up in all that stuff. Yeah. Let me Sorry. do that, actually. That is 21 points of damage. The DC is actually 11. Okay. Um, so is that a constitution saving throw? Uh, yes, yeah, so it is a constitution saving throw with advantage. The DC is 11. Shouldn't be hard. Yeah, you are good. Yeah. So, so yes, I... your shadow blade does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. God damn, that was bad. I rolled two ones. Okay, and then I'm using Booming Blade, so I get an extra 1d8. So it's another 4, so he, I did 13 damage. And if he moves, he takes 11 before my next turn. Um, so I actually 
Uh, make puff. Did puff swipe yet? Uh, not puff has not attacked yet. That is another miss. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm actually going to take a step back into the darkness further. So um, he gets an attack. Yep. Too, right? Yes, he does. Um, it's a disadvantage because it, he has terrible sight. That is a 12 to hit. This is. Okay. So I take a step back and then I move across the ring again. All right. His turn, he is going to perception check. His first attack, he is going to swing at where your puff is. That is a 17 to hit. Good god. And puff... Poofs out of existence, probably. Takes 24 points of damage. He is gone. You like killing Puff, dude. <laughs> you use him. It's a thing that keeps trying to sting people. <laughs> and he is going to move over. And again, wildly swinging in the darkness, but still has a good, pretty good idea of where you're at. The moment he moves, he takes 11 thunder damage. Boom. Yeah. Oh yes, I forgot about that. So I didn't like that spell because I didn't know it would you could actually move without fucking it up. So he's taken twenty four damage so far, I think. Plus whatever else I did earlier. He has taken actually uh, thirty nine damage so far. Yeah. So he is going to attempt to attack you again. That is a 21 to hit. Uh, shield again. Okay. That is your last one, I believe? Yep, but I have meta magic still, so I can make one more. <laughs> Alright, the next one is... Ooh, got a 24 and a 25, so it's 24 with the disadvantage. Jesus Christ. Yes. This with disadvantage, you're rolling, like, really well, man. Yeah, the first one was a 17, the second one was an 18, he has a plus 7. You, you've pretty much rolled 14s and above this entire time, other than... No, that. no, I've gone several, um, things of him getting a 10 with the disadvantage. Okay, go ahead. So what, what happens? So... What's the damage? For that, the damage is... Excellent. only 27. 27 damage total? Yep. And his third attack he already used to kill Puff. So. Okay. Alright, it is your turn. I swipe at him with Shadow Blade. Obviously, using Boomy Blade. Good God! Oof. If I would roll better, that would be better. But you know. Yeah. I can roll two one for damage earlier. I understand you, face. <laughs> Good God. Um, and then as a bonus action, I use uh to get another spell slot. Alright. And yeah. So he is going to attempt to bring down his great axe again. Oops, accidentally just rolled damage. Alright, so that is a eight to hit on the first one. That eight is a critical failure, so he definitely misses. Uh next is a eighteen to hit. A critical failure, nothing else happens? Come on. I've never had any extra effects on you guys when you got critical failures. True. Mostly just uh, flavor text. Yeah. And flavor text isn't really a thing because nobody can see what's going on. This is the most uninteresting fight ever. Yeah, like, I'm just playing, like, solitaire. Like, anyone want to play chess? 
Actually, I think uh, I, what I'm imagining is very interesting. I wish I could see it. It's, it's just a spew of darkness that nobody can see through. Yeah, it's great. Exactly. Yeah, play chess. <laughs> All right. At the yeah, end, we will have see. opposed intelligence checks to see who wins. Oh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So All right. intelligence checks or intelligence saving throws? Intelligence yeah. checks, but we're going to do that after the fight. So, right. um, that was an 18 to hit. Yep, shield. All right. And <laughs> then a 13 to hit. So, yep. doesn't hit you at all this tune. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Back to you. I slash him with my shadow blade. That hits. Oh, God, I actually hit. God. I forgot about inspiration, but whatever. Um, that'd actually be really useful on Puff, because if Puff hits, he can get, like, basically stunned for the entire turn. Um, so he hits, does 16 psychic damage, booming blade, 16 psychic, 8 thunder. Alright. And then I step out of his engagement range. Oh yeah, should I make concentration check? Uh, yes. Good point. Out? Go ahead and make that. That was... You're good. Glad I have Warcaster. <laughs> I step out of his engagement range. Can he hit me in the darkness? Can he find me to hit me? Yes, he does still get the attempt to hit you, but it's still at disadvantage. And you still have... <laughs> Uh, shield going shield. on, which is really bad. He got disadvantage because the first roll is a natural twenty. The second roll is a natural one. Nice. He hits himself in the face. <laughs> he very badly misses, and there was a massive thud. Um, all of the chess pieces that Edward has just finished shutting up fall over. Damn um, it! I step out of the over here, and I wait. For him to try to find me. I just set this all up. <laughs> I hope Edward clean up the pieces. Um, I can find it. Got my mage hand to help me. I am I'm assuming I get all the chess pieces. Do something to accurately portray this. <laughs> This may take a moment, but... What's he doing? <laughs> I don't think there are any flashes of light since, you know, complete darkness, no light within. Oh, you can't do, um... You can't... Booming Blade doesn't go through darkness? Who does? Not this darkness. Oh, yeah, not the darkness darkness, but... You guys can't see anything that's where he put the, the shroud or whatever? Yeah, like, we, the only thing we see is occasionally the axe head popping out of the darkness. No, I mean, like, on the on roll 20, like, you can't see it. But we can't now. Before they could, but I am setting up actual sight lines. I'm not even looking, I'm coloring a phoenix. I'm setting up my chest set again. Um, I think I have enough lines in this. I haven't actually used enough. darkness ever before, so... Alright. So you hear loud thuds. Well, actually, perception checks. Is he... yeah, he was he able to find me? Also, if he moves, 12 to thunder damage. Yep. Alright, so he does move and takes that 12 thunder damage as he seemingly finds where you are again. Jesus, this guy has like a homing beacon for me. Oh, wait, we might actually see some. Yeah, you see me back Yeah, you see um, Riker moving out and 
a slash coming out. Um, Raikou takes a slight step back as a great axe just barely misses him. <clears throat> and then another swing that completely misses. And then another swing that, like, very badly misses. Okay. Uh, nothing interesting again. I literally can't see where this guy is anymore. So. Yeah, back to chess. That is the point. Give me a perception check. Uh... You know, when he said that he had, like, some advantage set up for this fight, I I wasn't expecting, you know... <laughs> you have no clue where he is. Stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't... I, see, I wouldn't have trouble if I had my Eldritchification, which allowed me to yep. see through Magical Darkness, but I forgot to take it, um, and I took something else last time. So, yeah. Wait, honestly, can we switch places? Just fly. I, I can't see where he is. <laughs> Playing chess so. is fine. You can put the chessboard on his line. That's what I was thinking. Okay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I Might I persuade you to allow me to play chess? I'm... Right, I mean, fine, so... Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, no, I did no, the no, same... Damn high elf. No, still got eleven. Now, lost. we're swapping places. You're... Whoa, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> So, Raikou, what would you like to do? Point. You are currently not able to make an attack against him as you're not quite able to tell what space he is in. It's too late. <laughs> I, uh, so, I don't know if you just want to move us randomly, um, but I thunderclap if I can't see him. Alright, go ahead and roll. Actually, uh, you know what? At this point, um, um, I cast Daylight in the center of the ring. Uh, to cancel out the darkness? Yep. And I immediately head towards the edge of the the uh, ring and I, I bow out. I, I, I walk out and I step away. Are you sure that you do, don't want to try to continue that? You actually had him pretty low. Ah, uh, there was no way. If he would have hit me again, I'd be dead. So no. I, 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 I die, and I, uh, I look at the no. the giant guy and I say, "That was a quite a good fight. Thank you for the time." He nods. <laughs> you had him down to twenty two health. Yeah, and if I would have hit, if I would have got better rolls, <laughs> and not fucking ones for damage. That could have been good. All right, I would like for fine and um. Edward, as this finishes, to make um, intelligence checks. Oh boy. <laughs> fine! Uh, fine. You managed to catch an opening in the mm. early phases, and in three turns, you did the three turn victory move. Yay. Wow. You know, I gotta admit, I didn't actually think you would try that. Almost no one does that. Thank you. We have a game similar to this. It's called something else. Simpler. But... Alright, well... Go eat your friends. Back of the chest set with the new knowledge that I've never... Give myself... Give myself an opening like that. Alright, I imagine the ship is here. There was a big car that is very slowly driving by. Okay. So if I die randomly, that's why. 